Bella Romanina, du Sevelindra la Cora Cora. Greetings, my friend, Aaron Pine, the elven wizard here in this magical, magical place. And I wanted to connect with you the magic of this place and bring you some insights about magic and what it is to me and how you might begin exploring it for yourself. Now, first, I wanted to show you a little more of this magical place I'm in so you can feel the energy. So I don't know if you can tell right uh, right here, this actual little coral cave right in those rocks there and this whole beautiful rock structure here. And uh, very interesting, I'm in this forest here that, you know, probably, I don't know the exact, a few years ago, I'm guessing, uh, obviously a forest fire went through here. And you can see all these black trees, uh, you know, completely burned. Uh, and there's an eerie, eerie beauty to it, uh, along with the uh, nearby river with a little bit of waterfalls and the beautiful golden bushes. Of course, it's fall time right now, so really magical place. So I felt inspired to share a bit about magic here in this place, of course. So hope you're doing wonderful. And, you know, if you followed some of my other work, my websites, all that, you'll see I spell magic, M-A-J-I-K. And the main reason for this is to explore the possibility of a new form of magic that is emerging that both honors the past, right? Humanity for pretty much since its beginning has explored and related to the world around it through what we would call magic, right? And, and ritual and ceremony and speaking to the land and communing with the spirits and feeling the rhythms of life around us. Um, and then, you know, many ancient times, it was just life. It wasn't like the separate thing that we might think of magic as, oh, doing a, a spell or a special ceremony, you know, on a certain night of the week or under the full moon. It's just life itself and our connection and our relationship with life with the spirits of the land uh, with the trees with the sky with the stones right and uh, it's not really until the last few thousand years that that became more separated and became this thing over there and then of course become demonized or become um, pushed away through science as this thing that doesn't isn't real right and sort of dismiss thousands and thousands and thousands of years of human uh, development and connection through this sort of awareness of uh, magic, of spirit, of the life force that is within everything. And so magic to me is about reconnecting with that. And of course, that may mean for you studying or observing right ancient practices, perhaps, uh, you know, your ancestral cultures, uh, other cultures you're drawn to from around the world. Uh, it's very likely you've experienced lifetimes in other cultures. So there may be certain ones that are very uh, strong to you in this life that maybe don't have a, a physical connection, right, with your physical ancestors, but perhaps your spiritual ancestry, your spiritual journey has connected you into these other traditions, right? And there's all these beautiful, rich traditions around the world with their own rituals and descriptions of different spirit beings and descriptions of how to connect with them. And, you know, many of these things have been developed over thousands of years uh, or longer, <laughs> right, by, by beautiful cultures around the world. And what also I feel is happening beyond our interest and our intrigue to reconnect and restore those ancient traditions, and, and unfortunately a lot of that has been lost in many cultures, uh, so we're, many people are sort of trying to rebuild that as best we can, right, restructure it. But there's also this possibility for a new magic to emerge. You know, we have unlike any other time before, access to all these forms of magic, all these beautiful traditions, all these beautiful teachings, and able to synthesize those into something new. And we're obviously entering an experience here on Earth that is unlike probably anything else that's ever happened before of, you know, global culture, of the changes going on with the Earth, of just humanity and technology and all these things happening simultaneously. We're, we're getting pushed into this new unknown territory and from where that i envision that we each can ha we can each harness a unique form or expression of magic within us that likely like i said is is inspired by these roots of the past but also can expand and grow into something new perhaps something that is connected with the world itself connected with technology connected with the changes of life connected with where we're going and what we need in this modern day 
you know, if you look back through cultures through time, all the ones with their beautiful traditions, those traditions, those stories changed over time, right? They weren't uh, stagnant. They were alive with the culture and what was happening and who was in charge and, you know, civilizations mixed and mingled and collapsed and, and arose. So all those things changed over time. So as is ours, right? We're still part of that continuing thread of change and transformation and evolution and expression and experience as human beings. So tapping into magic uh, is drawing inspiration from those, right? It's fuel. It it's gives us context and ideas that we can then harness within us to invite our own form of magic, our own gifts, our own creativity, our own mythos from our own journey, from our own experiences, from the world that uh, connects with us, our relationships, and expand that out into new ways and new forms. And that taps into our creativity, our imagination, and our spirit, and allows that to come forth into the world in new ways. Right? From there, we create and generate the experiences of life. Now, most people, a lot of the time, are creating experiences of life that are repeating the patterns, right? Playing out the same trauma, the same fears, the same restrictions, the same self-doubts, the same limitations over and over again. And some, unfortunately, spend their whole life doing this, and it may not be till their deathbed that they realize that. <laughs> uh, uh, luckily, you have the opportunity to begin exploring and expanding, right? Instead of operating from these limited patterns and these uh, social conditions that are uh, given to us <laughs> by society, you can begin to explore your own magic, your own mythos, what is within you at your soul and bring that to life, your own unique magic, right? And so, again, using elements from the past, you can begin to craft your own life, your own changes. Now, this goes into the concept of spell casting. Ooh. <laughs> spell casting to me is about uh, connecting into an intentional space, connecting into a sacred space, stepping outside of the busyness of life, and connecting in with the creative energies within you that desire transformation in your life, right? We all pretty much, <laughs> most of the time, want to create transformation, to create something better for ourselves, whether it's, you know, health, wealth, our relationships, uh, betterness for the earth itself, right? Betterness for our community. We want to uh, inspire and evoke expansion. And so spellcasting is a way to do that, to, to take this time to really get clear with what we are wanting to create and harnessing the universal energies to then create that and then take that time and space to create a ritual, uh, a way to basically send these signals to our, our psyche, our subconscious, uh, to the spirits, to the land, to the world that we want to enact this change and transformation. Now, everybody's basically spell casting all the time, right? You go to work and you're, say you're in some kind of normal, like corporate -y kind of job, you're given specific tasks to do, specific goals to meet, specific tools you use, and you're using those and you're putting those together for a desired result. You've created a ritual. You're Take, taking you know eight hours a day maybe focused energy into making something occur using different ingredients ideas thoughts processes etc to create an outcome it's no different spell casting is just harnessing other things to maybe make some sort of transformation in your life different than just you know making a certain profit or <laughs> meeting a uh, goal of some sort in the corporate world right you're creating an interpersonal change with yourself and your relationship to reality and ultimately this brings forth more of who you are and keeps you aligned with that. You know, a lot of times I might go into spell casting with a certain idea of, you know, wanting to accomplish something, or I do have clients that, you know, hire me to cast spells for them, right? And maybe they give me a specific thing. They want to work on boosting their confidence. They want uh, some health. They want help with the relationship. And oftentimes they have in their mind what is going on and what they need to change. When I receive that, I tune into the energy, what's going on within them and tap into the creative field of magic and usually new uh, sort of revelations or insights come that are corresponding to what they thought but maybe also bigger and in a larger context within themselves and their uh, relationship with life and then I use that to then form the spell the ingredients the intention the magic and also the guide for them to use to transform their life and it's really powerful to see when they do that and apply that that they tap into these larger fields of magic of energy of consciousness to make change in our life. So magic is a powerful way 
to make change and transformation and to help you clarify what that is for you and move yourself in that new direction versus just replaying the same patterns, right? If you're just going day by day, you're going to replay the same patterns. Ritual, spell casting allows you to pause to step out of that, even meditation to step out of that and step into the field of magic, the field of insight, the field of possibilities, make a change, enact a change, and then draw that forth into the day-to-day -day life. So it's a, a combination, right, of bridging magic or the realm of spirit with the day-to-day -day life, day -day life and bringing those together to experience and explore the possibility of the magic within you affecting change in the world. It's a powerful process. And if you want to go deeper, feel free to reach out. I do one-on-one -on -one training, um, depending on when you're watching this video, in January of 20. Uh, 24, I'm going to be doing a five week spell casting class, which we're going to go deeper into your magic, how to tap into what that is for you, and then go through the different elements of a ritual of a spell, how to cast that, how to create that, how to generate your own spells. And I'll be guiding you through the process. You get to do your own spell in the class, or like I said, reach out for one on one training. And I'll have many more as well. If you're watching this beyond January of 2024, make sure to hop over to my website, give a like, a subscribe, drop a comment below. How have you used magic? What's your experience with magic? What does magic look like to you? And let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much. I'm going to go explore a bit more of this magical place here. Hope you have a most magical day.